G'day guys, it's Glenn Maxwell here for CATV, Maxie's first blog of the UAE tour. And on the eve of the first test, we've got two guys that haven't been capped yet, two guys that are hope hopefully going to get their baggy green tomorrow. One of them, Stephen O'Keefe. 41 wickets to 20 last year, best of 6 for 70. Is that what you put this selection down to? Um, yeah, I think it's got a little bit to do with it. Um, you know, it's been an interesting last sort of four or five years for me personally. Um, been through a few ups and downs with the Blues, but last year I think winning uh, the Shield and being a part of a winning in culture certainly goes a long way and, and, and getting 40-odd uh, you know, wickets certainly helps. Yeah, exactly right, especially in Australia with not much uh, spin assistance as well. Now we're in Dubai with a bit of a spin assistance. Does that really excite you, especially after the first game where you had a bit of success as well? Yeah, well, seeing yourself go out and take three for in that 2020 on the same pitch, mate, I feel like I've got big shoes to fill out there. It's so. a miracle, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it just gave me confidence that I know that I don't have to spin the ball too much to get wickets out there, Maxie. But, um, yeah, look, I, I think uh, given the conditions in the first trial game with the A team, it was pretty flat and slow, and I think it'll be pretty similar out there in the middle. So, look, the guys have been very supportive. Um, you know, I've spoken to Gazza Lyon, um, and, and he's been supportive in... in sort of making our roles really clear and I'm just excited if I get that opportunity. If not, if I have to run the drinks and you know, how good will that be as well being amongst, you know, the, the world, in my opinion, the world's best cricket team. Final question, say you do get the baggy green, how are you getting your first wicket and how's your celebration gonna be? <laughs> well, I think it'll be pretty similar to the way I get them all maxi, sort of pitch outside off, They'll play for a bit of spin and it'll just skid on hopefully to a middle stump. Whether it is a stump or not, we don't know. Or whether it goes on near to pad, we'll see. But um, yeah, look, I don't really care how it is. Maybe a, a, a low full toss hit out to one of my three blokes on the fence. Yeah, That'll do, mate. Exactly and uh, right. uh, I just hope I don't pass out in this heat getting too frazzled with the excitement <laughs> of getting a wicket. So we'll see, mate. All right, so behind these doors, we've got our... Um the other one of the potential deputants to uh, play tomorrow, um, Mitchell Marsh. I'm not sure what sort of state he's in at the moment, but let's go check. Here he is, looking really good after a fresh little little trim. You're looking good, mate. Yeah, it looks good. Now tell me, you've you've got that double ton against India. Eh? You've had an amazing series in Zimbabwe against South Africa and Zimbabwe. You've done amazing things during the Champions League. What was the most important thing over the last couple of months to get you to this position where you're potentially getting the baggy green tomorrow? Um, oh, I think probably the biggest thing is just being staying on the park. Um, it's obviously difficult to uh, score runs and take wickets in, in, on the sidelines, so that's been probably the most enjoyable thing um, is playing, you know, some cricket back to back, and then obviously uh, being around the Australian setup for the last few months has been been awesome. And it's such a great group to be around, so somewhere where hopefully I want to stay for a while. Let's just say you do theoretically play your first test tomorrow. You get that first wicket. How are you going to get it and how are you going to celebrate? Um, oh, yeah, probably my first wicket will probably be uh, caught on the boundary. Uh, I'll probably be eight or nine down and uh, tail ends will be slogging me, but it uh, doesn't matter how you get it. As long as you get one, that's all that matters. So right. I'll be doing my best. Beautiful work. Well, good luck to you, Marsh. Hope you get that debut. And thank you very much for joining us, guys, um, here on uh, cricket.com.au. Remember, you can follow all the live action in the UAE against uh, Pakistan, and hopefully we can win the two-test series over here and have another, another good series here. Cheers. Cheers.